I have had two deployments. One inspired me to apply for this job and do this. We're getting ready to take off. Make sure everybody's secure. Take your seats. I love being an instructor and teaching, so I applied for this job and I was accepted, and I absolutely love it. There's nothing better than, than well, other than flying, training people to do the job to carry on the mission. Well, we're here at USF SAM, so it's an FNAET course. It's for nurses and technicians that want to be in the air medical world. Just the burns, they have to go through the schoolhouse. It's a month long. We can have potentially 30 technicians or 30 nurses, so a maximum of 60 per class. We do about 80 a year. It's volunteer basis, you want to do this job. So already you're a nurse, already you're a technician. This is something additional in our career that we apply to do. To do this, you have to do a package, you have to be selected. And once you are selected, obviously you receive the training. It's just very important because we need to be able to transport our wounded warriors home. And then also when you're overseas at locations that don't maybe have a hospital, you need to be able to transport them um, if they need further care or surgery to the right place. Well, we're at the end of the class now. So the last three days are mission days. Ah, okay, so we could loosen the bandage, right? We have aircraft that we take them on mock missions as you saw today. So we learn about stressors of flight, how to take care of the patients when they're in the air. I'm on a floor every day. We don't have 30,000 feet below us. There's plenty of lighting. So to simulate situations with patients and to kind of go through those incidents with less supplies, um, it's a challenge. So what's this category? We had four patients you saw on this mission. Um, we tried to give them multiple injuries and diagnosis. Uh, we had a patient who had a psychiatric event, tried to get off the stretcher. We don't want to get down right now. We had to take him down or put him back on the stretcher and uh, put him in restraints and kind of talk him down. Tomorrow they'll have different patients with different injuries and diagnosis and then the same way with the third day. Because what's a big concern we have with this patient? So they'll get to put into play everything they've learned through their AFIs. It's very important that we follow our regulations and our checklists so we do the right thing at the right time. Just being able to know that no matter where you go if you get injured, the Air Force will do whatever it takes to get you home. No matter where we can deploy in the world, anywhere we go, you know, there'll always be AE to take care of us to make sure they get the medical treatment and go to the facility that they need to go to.